Okay, so who's seen the movie Geostorm? I can't see your hands, but I'm assuming all of you. Uh, let me just go with... Yeah, no. Right. We have tried to modify the weather in Geostorm. We succeeded behind our wildest dreams in Cloudy with a Chance of Meatball. We succeeded behind our wildest dreams in real life. Yeah, huh, no. There's a few things we can do. We tried something called cloud seeding, which basically was like, okay, let's try and make clouds. The idea is if you make a cloud, you spread out the water droplets, and so you don't get like the big hail, or you don't get flooding somewhere, because you can kind of spread out the rain. It hasn't really worked. Um, but by doing this, you can, you can make snow and rain. It just hasn't really worked to accomplish our, goal, our goals. We just get more snow and rain. And you put silver iodide in the atmosphere, and that acts as a nuclei, a condensation nuclei, essentially. Now, what has worked is cloud and fog dispersal. The best way that we've been able to find it is stick a helicopter in the middle of the fog and let its propellers spin. That's like the best way that we can disperse a cloud. It's what they do at airports, actually. Now, we tried to create do so, uh, cloud seeding so that we can get rid of hail. Because right? hail is horrible. Right? If you don't believe me, go back to the precipitation types lesson and look at the hail. Horrible. Right, so we tried to do hail suppression. It did not work. There's different ways to prevent frost. Yeah, I guess I should fix that, but covering plants with garbage bags, right? You might see that, you know, you see that a lot around here. You have the little trees, they're covered with garbage bags or plastic bags. Uh, you'll see people with their plants, they'll put the plastic bags on it. And it keeps the heat in. Right, so the heat radiates away from it, hits the plastic bag, and comes back. The other thing they can do, which they do here a lot in the strawberry growing season, is just blast the strawberries with so much water. Just let the sprinklers go. So that when it freezes, when the water freezes, the water actually freezes and takes that latent heat, and it surrounds the strawberry so the strawberry isn't affected. Right, remember we talked about latent heat way back when. Another thing, and I've seen these in uh, orchards, but wind machines. And so you just blow warm air. So there's ways you can prevent frost. And something else that we don't really think about, but the contrails. Right? They're called contrails because they're condensation trails from the airplanes. Right? These things. We see those all the time. Warm, moist air coming out of the jets here. I have heard that airports actually have more clouds surrounding them than places without an airport. I've always lived near a city with an airport, so I'm, I can't really comment on that, but that's what I've heard. 